Hey folks, Brian from Thunder Laser USA. I've got a leather workflow. I did a really short one on this one with the different colored uh, strips of leather earlier, but my resolution was horrible. And this is going to be the actual workflow from start to finish. Um, I have not used this particular leather, so I'm going to go through uh, testing the cut and engrave settings uh, to get it right. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, I've got five different pieces of leather here. The green one we're not actually going to use. I have it in the top position. You'll see it in a minute on the overlay. And um, basically I'm using it for autofocus. Because nothing's going to go on it. Or at least uh, there's nothing in the order that shows that. So we've got the leather set up right. So... <clears throat> This is a FlexiSign, it's a Graftex branded version. And uh, this is the job that needs to go on there. This is how it was sent to me. So first thing I'm gonna do is export this as, I don't know, DXF? I could do it as AI. Let's, let's do it as AI, as an uh, Adobe Illustrator. And then let's open Lightburn and we'll drag that AI file in there we go now it kind of messed up all of this stuff um, first we'll ungroup and let's get rid of this I'm gonna leave the colors on there just for now so we know the outside uh, is going to be a cut, so we're just going to make all those whoop, ungroup. Probably have to ungroup all these. Ungroup. Ungroup. That may get us a little closer. So our cut lines are going to be red. Whoops, not that one that's gonna actually be blue that'll be red we're not gonna output the blue that's just a reference for the stitch lines and uh, that one's gonna be blue and that one's gonna be blue this is gonna be a little bit of a longer um, video but it's also for the client now looks like that's going to be the cut line this is going to be a fill and this is going to be a fill along with all of that if i can get it all i'll tell you what it would probably be easier to select it all make it black and then just go back and make our cut line and our non-outputted fill line. Probably end up doing that on here too, let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll go back and make that blue again. And that one's already that way. So, we're also gonna make those blue because we're not gonna output those. I don't wanna see it. So that looks decent. I think that looks decent. And I think that looks decent. So that should be all we need. So let's go to camera control and we'll update the overlay. Here's our patches. And uh, this one's going to go on the tan leather. I'm going to group it again. And tan is the first one. Whoops, I didn't group it enough. I'm going to get rid of the writing. And then we'll group it this way. And then it's going to be the tan. This is going to be the red leather. I'm going to group it again so when I move it around I won't get strays. That's going to go on the orange. So we'll group it all back together and drag it down to the orange. And finally the gray. So we're going to select all those, group them, and we'll bring it down to the gray. So. We have our patches. 
Uh, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to center them up this direction and move them out of the way for a minute. So what we need to do now is uh, test the cut and uh, engrave speed. So I'm going to make a uh, circle and we're going to make it 10 millimeter. And I'm going to get it over here as far as I can up in the corner. And then let's make an array. Four. We'll move the spacing a little bit. Get them a little closer. Okay. So we're going to make this one black. This one red. I guess we really only need two. <clears throat> Then I'm going to duplicate this and bring it down to the others. Okay, so this I need to turn all that blue for a minute so it won't output. Alright, so there's our test. Now our cuts uh, according to the materials library for an 80 watt machine um, they've got leather in here one and a half millimeter thickness uh, 50 power I'm sorry 50 speed 60 power um, I think I'm gonna do 20 and 60 this is a little bit thicker and we want one pass and that should be okay and then on our fill for engraving leather it says 515 with 0.08 scan gap so we'll go 500 15 0.08 scan gap and that should be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see how it comes out on each one. And then we can uh, go from there. So here we go. The gray one has a lot of smoke. We may have to go a little darker on the engrave, we'll see. Okay, so the cuts are fabulous. <clears throat> Let me just grab this real quick. And I'm going to wipe it down real quick and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. That looks decent. That looks really decent. The cuts look good. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to do it. So, I'm going to update the overlay. I noticed that my calibration may be off just a little bit. You can kind of see that. 
so we're gonna get rid of these and then let me go back in here and fix this real quick actually there we go that's what I need control Z is your friend so I'm gonna take one of these and uh, set it right here and then I think I'm gonna do an array see if I can stretch them in there a little closer actually if I make them a little bit farther apart I think what I can do is grab these duplicate it and then offset them a little bit like this and we'll just get rid of this one That'll get quite a few of them on there. Um, this one I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. So that it'll fit better. And uh, we'll get it right here. And we'll do another array. And see if we can get them a little closer and get another one in there. Or well, we can at least get all those to fit. So that works. Same here. I think I'm going to rotate this one. 90 and we'll do another array reverse direction can we get one more I think those I think those will fit we'll just grab them drag them over here in the middle and then finally, we'll do this one and do an array. Like so. Now, if I space these out a little bit more, I think. We can move them up here out of the way a little bit, maybe. With my with my calibration being off just a little, I don't want to make the mistake of, uh, let's rotate that 180 degrees. Um, I don't want to make the mistake of getting too close to the edge and, and messing any of them up. So we'll be sure and frame it and see what's going on. See, we can double up on those dudes right there like that. Make sure I'm not overlapping. I may be just a little. Let me come down just a hair. Maybe something like that. I think that looks pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is actually send this to the uh, controller. And then I'm going to look at it from there. Okay, so I'm going to go to <clears throat> File. I'm going to pick Patches. They're there, and then I'm going to frame it, and I'll at least be able to see my extents uh, to make sure that it's going to be on there right. It looks like it's a little low. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push everything up just a little. I'm going to frame it again and see. And I think I'm going to look at it again. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's send it and see what happens. Here we go.
and there's what they look like up close. So, let me back this out. I found that putting an old t-shirt, or this is actually a burp cloth for my grandson, um, and wetting it just with some lukewarm water and giving them a couple of wipes. Uh, these gray ones are really kind of hard to clean. Uh, but try not using cleaners. Um, water is a very good and effective polar solvent. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, that's what they look like before. Let me see if I can get it. They look pretty bad until you give them a, a wipe or two. And that can just be an initial. You may want to clean them up a little better. And um, I was in focus here. I think that's the design. Because if you look up close at some of these, it came out really sharp. So <clears throat> we're still going to look at some of these under the, uh, under the microscope look at them up close but there's a little better view all right on to the scope okay so this is the red leather uh, with the moose on it and this is engraving this is not vector I would like to do these vector just to see what they look like that looks just a little fuzzy it might be just a little out of focus but if you look here it looks like uh, the artwork had a shadow or a second layer or something like that because there's some offset there and I think that's due to the artwork I didn't even look at the artwork I just imported it and ran with it uh, but the cuts look pretty good the cuts look really good let's look at the mountain outfitters there's quite a bit of fiber in that one but to the naked eye they look really good course you'll you'll be able to see that when you get them back but uh, there's that one now let's look at at this one on the gray that's really sharp really sharp now on a few of these um, I got a little deep on the bottom or the top one of them and then here is the Browns hardware one on the tan and there's a lot of contrast when you look at it, but if you look at it under the scope, it almost looks a little faint on the outer edges on some of them. But again, it's pretty, at this level of magnification, that's pretty crisp. You know, there's my fingerprints almost. But um, yeah, I think they turned out really good. So I'll send those back to you and uh, you tell me what you think.